All right, welcome back to episode number two. For a quick little recap, I made it to Scotland, obsessed with the fact that I got to see Stu again, so I didn't film much, but we basically went to a coffee shop, we walked around his hometown park area, and just kind of like acknowledged the fact that we were finally in the same continent again. Yeah. But the next morning started day number two, and of course, we started off strong by heading to... To the gym! And there's a food truck right there, and we're not, and I'm not using this money on the food truck. This sucks. After the gym, Stu actually bought us tickets to go check out some castles. We rushed to try to make it to as many castles as possible, so here is day number two, castle montage, go! Ah, welcome, come, and examine thy wares. Ooh! <laughs> wares? I, I deal in rocks. <laughs> Tell me what happened. Uh, so, we never got to the castle. It closed half an hour earlier than it said it would. So we missed that. However, we found this beach about five minutes from the castle. Paid three pound entry, went down this really dodgy jungle road. Uh, yes, we did. And got to this beautiful... <laughs> it is freaking beautiful. Yeah, quasi deserted. It's super lit. Yes, yeah, so we didn't make it to the castle, but I, I prefer I prefer this. This, yeah. is, this is freaking beautiful. All we wanted to see was the ocean, and we found it. You know? Oh, yeah. Oh my god, and it's freezing cold! Day two, Stu. What has been your favorite part of day two? Honestly, the driving. Yeah? I, I loved all the places, but just the driving places was really fun. Getting to be the plane, you know? I can show you the world. <laughs> Shining, shimmering, splendid. splendid. Tell me, princess, now when did you last let your heart decide? I can open your eyes, <laughs> take you wander by wander, over sideways and under on a magic carpet ride, a whole new world, a new fantastic point of view. No one to tell us no or where to go or say we're only dreaming a whole new world with new horizons to pursue. I'll chase them anywhere, it's time to spare. Let me share this whole new world with you. A whole new That's where we'll be A thrilling chase A wondrous place For you <laughs> And me I wasn't sure if you were going to go for harmony or not And I was like <laughs> I was like, 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 I was like
we ended the whole castle adventure thing with a little pre-dinner at a pizza place and uh, we ended up going back to Stu's to get the actual dinner that his mom made us and that was end of day number two. On to day number three. Let's mix things up a little bit and start walking around. So I ended up going to Scotland at basically the perfect time because in Edinburgh there's a thing called the Fringe Festival and it's where all these shows and skits and musicals that they're all being put on in different venues there's like scattered around Edinburgh just like, it's like hundreds. So day number three went to check out the Fringe Festival with Stu and this is what that looks like. Where are we? Uh, we were in Edinburgh Castle. We were in the Edinburgh Castle. Looking yeah. over our gorgeous view. Oh, yes. With my uh, With his cannon? favorite cannon. <laughs> I called it Nessie. <laughs> Hey Stu, what are we about to do? I'm about to ride the big wheel. About to ride this big wheel. So, oh, oh my! Why is it making that noise? I am dead. <laughs> I, am I am genuinely terrified. <laughs> we are just about to head back home. We oh, yeah. stopped at a place called Weatherspoons. Weatherspoons. Local pub everywhere in Scotland. Oh yeah. So uh, we went to this cool comedy show. Um, <laughs> there were six people in the there audience. Six people. It was a solid 100 person venue. Yeah. <laughs> so we ended the day with going back to Stu's place, warming up dinner that his mom made us, and then we just went to bed to be ready for the next day. Okay, so today is day four, and Stu went to the gym, and it cost five pounds a day for me to go. So instead, I decided to go on a run to see what's in the area, and I found this super, super beautiful path. It is freaking gorgeous out here. It's crazy. And there's nobody out here. There's nobody out here. It's like a public path thing, but nobody's here. All right, it's the end of day four. I started off with a run. Um, then me and Stu talked about plans for what we're gonna do for uh, tomorrow, because tomorrow is a special day, mm -hmm. which we will tell you about. Yes. And uh, then we went to Stu's friend's barbecue. Fourth time was it planned. <laughs> With the help of a doctor who prescribed her day as a pun. <laughs> and it was really cool because uh, they were really nice and they kept offering me beer and it was great. And then we went to the Fringe again in Edinburgh and went to some comedy shows with Stu, Stu's brother Ross, and Stu's dad. And it was really cool and I'm really tired and we're gonna go to sleep. Good night. Good night. All right, and that's it for this video. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, subscribe, like the video, you know, do all the, all the things. And I'll be releasing the next video soon because now I actually have a camera. So, yeah, I can do that now. So, yeah, subscribe. Bye. <laughs> the moose donnered on through the deep murk wed. A hoolet saw the moose and the moose looked good. What are you after, you wee brun moose? Well, you know, hey, your tea and my tree tap hoose. <laughs> That's gay Hamley, oh yeah, will it? But I know I'm gonna hame a tea with a gruffalo. <laughs> <laughs>